Hello dear learner I Ms Papnali Satish Farande assistant professor from Delonic Societies Baramati College of Pharmacy Baranpur Baramati Today I am going to discuss the topic introduction to microbiology from the subject pharmaceutical microbiology contents of this topic introduction to microbiology second one is definition of microbiology and third one is the branches of microbiology course outcomes after the completion of this topic student should be able to define microbiology enlist different branches of microbiology and explain about the branches of microbiology introduction to microbiology what is microbiology microbes or microorganisms microbes or microorganisms are minute living things that are usually unable to wave with naked eye they are small organisms visible only under microscope they decompose organic waste also they produce industrial chemicals such as ethyl alcohol and acetone they produce fermented foods or products such as vinegar cheese and bread examples of microbes or microorganisms are bacteria fungi protozoa algae viruses etc definition of microbiology it is the study of organisms of microscopic size that includes essentially bacteria fungi algae protozoa and the infectious agents at the very borderline of life which are broadly known as viruses branches of microbiology there are two main branches of microbiology first one is basic research microbiology and second one is applied microbiology in that first basic research microbiology it is further classified into three branches first one is by kind of organism second one is by process fun or functions third one is in relation to disease in the by kind of organisms it is again further classified into two branches in that first is microbial taxonomy and second there are many branches bacteriology phycology mycology protozoology parasitology virology and nematology the second branch by process or functions it is classified into three branches first one is the microbial metabolism second one is microbial genetics third one is the microbial ecology the third branch from basic research microbiology is in relation to disease it means it is related to the health in that there are three branches first one is immunology second one is epidemiology third one is etiology the second main branch is the applied microbiology it is again classified into three branches that means disease related branch environmental branch and industrial branch into the disease related branches there are again two branches first one is infection control and second one is chemotherapy branch then into the environmental branch environmental microbiology branch and the third industrial branch it is 
again divided into three branches that means food and beverage technology second one is pharmaceutical microbiology and third one is genetic engineering the branches of microbiology there are main two types or there are main two branches of microbiology that means pure microbiology and second one is applied microbiology the pure microbiology having the different branches in listed below these are the bacteriology phycology mycology protozoology parasitology virology immunology nematology microbial cytology microbial ecology microbial genetics cellular microbiology generation microbiology and evolutionary microbiology in the applied microbiology there are again many branches medical microbiology pharmaceutical microbiology food microbiology industrial microbiology soil microbiology agricultural microbiology aquatic microbiology air microbiology epidemiology microbiology microbial microbiology veterinary microbiology microbial mic biotechnology and the last one is the environmental microbiology the first main branch is pure microbiology in that the first branch bacteriology the study of bacteria means the bacteriology the examples of the bacteria are cyanobacteria and e coli bacteria etc second branch from pure microbiology is mycology it is nothing but the study of fungi example of fungi yeast and molds third branch is nematology it is the study of nematodes that means the example of nematode is the round worms next branch is immunology it is the study of immune system it looks at the relationship between pathogens such as bacteria and viruses and their host next branch from from pure microbiology is parasitology it means the study of parasites not all parasites are microorganisms but many are protozoa and bacteria can be parasitic the study of bacterial parasites is usually categorized as part of bacteriology the sec- next branch is phycology it is nothing but the study of algae example of algae golden algae and irish moss protozoology is the next branch from the pure microbiology it is the study of protozoa single celled organism example of protozoa is amoeba next branch from pure microbiology is virology virology means the study of the viruses examples of viruses are polio virus and rabies virus next branch from pure microbiology is microbial cytology it is the study of microscopic and sub microscopic details of microorganisms the next branch microbial physiology it is the study of how the microbial cell functions biochemically it includes the study of microbial growth microbial metabolism and microbial cell structure the next branch is microbial ecology it is the study of relationship between microorganisms and their environment the next branch from pure microbiology is microbial genetics 
it is the study of how genes are organized and regulated in microbes in relation in relationship to their cellular functions closely related to the field of molecular biology microbial genetics means the study of how genes are organized and regulated in microbes in relation to their cellular functions closely related to the field of microbial biology the next branch from pure microbiology is cellular microbiology a discipline bridging microbiology and cell biology means the cellular microbiology next branch is evolutionary microbiology it is the study of evolution of microbes this field can be subdivided into two branches first one is microbial taxonomy and second one is microbial systematics in that microbial taxonomy means the naming and classification of microorganisms and the microbial systematics means the study of the diversity and genetic relationship of microorganisms the next branch from pure microbiology is generation microbiology it is the study of those microorganisms that have the same characters as their parents means the generation microbiology next branch from pure microbiology is the systems microbiology a discipline bridging systems biology and microbiology is nothing but the systems microbiology next branch is molecular microbiology it is the study of the molecular principles of the physiological processes in microorganisms next branch is phylogeny phylogeny is the study of the genetic relationships between different organisms the next main branch is the second main branch is the applied microbiology in that the first branch is the medical microbiology medical microbiology means the study of the pathogenic microbes and the role of microbes in human illness it includes the study of microbial pathogenesis and epidemiology and is related to the study of disease pathology and immunology this area of microbiology also covers the study of human microbiota cancer and the tumor microenvironment the next branch from the applied microbiology is pharmaceutical microbiology Pharmaceutical microbiology is the study of microorganisms that are related to the production of antibiotics, enzymes, vitamins, vaccines and other pharmaceutical products and that cause pharmaceutical contamination and spoil. Next branch from applied microbiology is industrial microbiology. the exploitation of microbes for the use in industrial process examples include industrial fermentation and wastewater treatment it is closely linked to the biotechnology industry this field also includes brewing an important application of microbiology The next branch from applied microbiology is microbial biotechnology. The manipulation of microorganisms at the genetic and molecular level to generate useful products is microbial biotechnology. Next branch from the applied microbiology is food microbiology. It is the study of microorganisms causing food spoilage and food borne illness using microorganisms to produce foods for example by fermentation
Next branch is agricultural microbiology. It is the study of agriculturally relevant microorganisms. This field can be further classified into two types. First one is plant microbiology and plant pathology and second one is soil microbiology. In that first one plant microbiology and plant pathology is the study of interactions between microorganisms, plants and plant pla pathogens. Second one soil microbiology means it is the study of those organisms that are found in soil. The next branch from applied microbiology is veterinary microbiology. Veterinary microbiology means the study of the role microbes in veterinary medicine or animal taxonomy. Next branch is environmental microbiology. Environmental microbiology is the study of the functions and diversity of microbes in their natural environments. This involves the characterization of key bacterial habitats such as the rhizosphere and phylosphere, soil and groundwater ecosystems, open oceans or extreme environments that means extremophiles. This field includes other branches of microbiology such as microbial ecology, microbially mediated nutrient cycling, geomicrobiology, microbial diversity, bioremediation. Bioremediation means the use of microorganisms to clean air, water and soils. The next branch from the applied microbiology is water microbiology or aquatic microbiology. It is nothing but the study of those microorganisms that are found in water. Next branch is aeromicrobiology or air microbiology. It is the study of airborne microorganisms. And the next branch is the biotechnology. It is related to recombinant DNA technology or genetic engineering. These are the some references for this topic. In the next topic, we will discuss about the history of microbiology, scope and importance of the microbiology. Thank you.